welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Debbie. I have been a reseller for 17 years and I absolutely love it. It has been the perfect job as I had children, raising them, being able to stay home. And that is what this channel is about for me. I want to share what I have learned and continue to learn with all of you and hopefully be able to provide some tips, tricks, information to help those of you have reselling as their full-time or part-time income. And my goal is to provide the most accurate and honest information that I can to you to help you. And if you are new here, I would love it if you want to join me again, just hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell also so it will let you know when I release new videos. And if you can take a moment to hit the thumbs up button, I would appreciate it so much. It would really help my channel to get pushed out there a little bit more so that others can get this content also. Today, I have a what sold video. I am going to share 20 items that sold last week and my sales were much better this week. I have had so many low weeks due to being gone so much. And so last week was the first week this summer that I've really had a good opportunity to put some time in listing. And it's amazing how the results really pay off. And I have a good day of being able to get 10 or 20 items listed in a day. I immediately see my sales pick up right after that. And it might not be those specific items that sell, but other items, I think it just creates activity and somehow your items are pushed out and shown more. So it did help. So this week I sold 38 items. My gross sales were $997.92. And as always, if you'd like the complete breakdown of all of my numbers overall and each platform, stick with me until the end and I will have all of those numbers for you. I'm going to start on Poshmark because I had the majority of my sales on Poshmark. However, eBay is inching back up there. <laughs> on Poshmark, I sold 24 items for a gross amount of $580. The first item that I'm going to share is a pair of boots that I just listed. I had them in the Goodwill bins haul where I did the giveaway. And these were the Circle G by Corral laser cut ankle boots and they were from the buckle. They still had the price tag on the bottom, size seven and a half, and they sold for $40. My earnings were $32. I paid $2.50 at the bins. The shoes at my bins are $2.29 for adults, but I paid tax on it also, so I have to count that. So it's $2.50. They only took eight days to sell, and my profit was $29.50. The next one was from my men's Thread Up Rescue Box, which I've been so pleased with all of my rescue boxes and I'm going to order another one soon. As soon as I get through all of the inventory from my last Goodwill bins haul, when I see that I'm close, I'm going to order some more boxes because they have been excellent. This was the Rag and Bone Tailored Workwear Men's Blazer in size 40, and it sold for $40, which I thought it could probably go for a little bit more than that, but I listed it and had virtually no activity on it. There was so little interest, so when I got an offer, I decided I'm going to make a good profit on that. I think I will take it. <laughs> My earnings were $32. I paid $5.03 per item that I was actually able to sell in the Thread Up Men's Rescue Box. And so my profit was $26.97 and it took just 24 days to sell. So I guess I could have waited longer, but I just, you know, a lot of times when things get a lot of activity at first, that really encourages me. But if it's been a few weeks and not a lot of activity and I get a decent offer in where I can make a good profit, a lot of times I will go ahead and take it. And so I'm very glad that I did. The next one is an example of a beautiful dress. I have got it retail arbitrage for only $9.99. The retail value was $178. Vince Camuto, which is such a nice brand. I love that brand myself. It was sequin, it had embroidery, size 14, excellent size. And so I thought, oh, this will sell. So I purchased it about four years ago and it just now sold for 
My earnings were $24. I paid $9.99. It would have been, I, I didn't write down the exact store way back then, but I am now since I'm sharing everything on YouTube, but it was probably Dillard's that I purchased it at or just one of the department stores at the mall. And my profit was $14.01. So I still more than doubled my money, so I'm happy about that. But I listed it, I sent it into ThreadUp, it came back from ThreadUp, and just now it sold. And so you would think that that high, high retail value and new with tags and the size would cause it to just sell like that, but it really does make a difference on brands sometimes. So always look up your sold comps. And how ironic is this? Another dress that I got that same day for $9.99 also, which also had a great retail value of $119, brand new with tags, Bardot mesh pink strappy dress, took four years to sell also. They sold in the same week for the same amount. This one sold for $30. My earnings were 24. Again, I paid $9.99 and my profit was $14.01. So I was thrilled to have both of those sell. Even if it did take a really long time, I still think it was worth it. I don't mind holding on to things for a little while. I would prefer that they sell faster, but I'm still grateful for the profit. The next one was Liquidation, and this was the Free People Lajala Wrap Sandals. I had two of these, size seven and size nine. This was the second one that sold. It sold for $40. My earnings were $32. I paid $14.12, and my profit was $17.88. And I had purchased two small Free People shoe lots back in November, and they're almost all sold out now, and they have been incredible incredible profit there. I think I have four pairs left from that. So I'll have to do a wrap up and let you know how much I profited on those, but it was really good. Then the next one was, oh my goodness, this one, I don't understand. Um, when I was at the bins, um, not too long ago, a couple trips ago, I had it on a video. Um, I got this bag. It was this nice bag and it was filled with little dog clothes and there was a harness and there were three diapers that didn't even look like they had ever been worn at all. And I was like, you know, these are so nice. I think I'll pick them up. And they were um, 69 cents a pound and the, the whole bag of clothes was only three pounds. So I thought this is going to be great. So I picked it up and listed it and it, someone sent me an offer for $25. I accepted, my earnings were $20. I paid $2.07 at the bin, so my profit was $17.93. Took one month and one day to sell. I packaged it up so nicely and I was like, oh, this person is going to be thrilled because. And I got horrible feedback. I got a one-star feedback and she left one feedback and said something terrible, horrible, and then she revised it and she put something like old, faded, nothing as described, rips whole, so very bad. I threw them out. I would not put them on my puppy or something like that. And it just doesn't make any sense at all. So I'm not quite sure about that. I thought maybe she complained to Poshmark and was trying to get her money back. And that, that's why she said that. I don't know because it was nice quality items. And so every once in a while, you just have something weird like that happen. And used to, it would kind of upset me. But now I think, you know what? Those things just happen every once in a while. That is just part of dealing with the general public. Almost everybody is so nice and wonderful and positive and you might have some strange things like that every once in a while, but don't let them bother you. The next one, okay, so this is the opposite. This is one that made me feel so good and it makes me think, don't get offended ever by people giving really low offers because you never know the exact circumstance behind it. Um, I. I went back and forth with a girl. We communicated for a while and she asked me about a shirt, if you could see through it. And I was like, oh, I'll try it on for you. I tried it on. She was very grateful. And we just went back and forth and there were several items, I think four or five items that she was interested in. So she bundled them. I sent her a good offer. I think it was 25% off plus discounted shipping. And then she sends an offer back to me that was so low that I would not even make a profit. 
And so I was like, okay, I'll just send her an offer back. And so then she emails me the next day and says, um, I bought it from somebody else. I got a really low deal and I couldn't give it up. And so I was like, okay, no problem. I'm glad you got a good deal. If you're still interested in these, I'll send you an offer. So back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And she was just sending really low offers to me. And then I just kind of ended it. And I said, I can't sell for that low. And she was like, this is all I can pay. And I just ended it with, I understand. And then she came back to me and she, and she said, oh, I'm just a college student and a fashion major. I love free people, but um, I, I just can't afford that much. And I was like, oh my goodness, she's a college student. She's selling on Poshmark, trying to make money, working hard. She's going to school and she just, she, it was a really sweet message. And so I was like, okay, I don't care if I make any money. I'm going to give her a good deal. She wanted one of it to give to her friend for her 21st birthday. So I told her, okay, go ahead and send me that offer back for $70 and I'll accept it. And so she did. She got the items. She sent me the sweetest note in a bundle. And so I'm like, okay, you know what? I made $17 on that entire bundle, but I was like, I am proud of her. A college student that is not just being entitled to things, like she's looking for clothes on Poshmark. She's working hard. I'm like, so glad that I can give her a good deal. And so it was a three piece lot. They were all free people items. They sold for $70. My earnings were $56. I paid $8.78 for the little white bodysuit top. I paid $21.31 for the blue dress and I paid $8.13 $8 for the Free People Movement New York shirt. So my total cost of goods was $38.26, profit $17.74. But honestly, I really wouldn't care if I made anything because she was really sweet and I was glad that I was able to give her a good deal. And the next one is an example of something that I got home from the bins. It looked really nice. I had put in almost all of the work to list it and then I discovered a flaw. It was a pair of Nike Golf Tour performance shorts in size 36. And so I was running through the wash and I was photographing them, almost finished photographing them, and I see a little spot on them. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> if I had noticed a spot before doing anything, maybe I would have just redonated them because I realized it probably would not be my, worth my time to list them. But since I had already done almost all of the work, I had a draft, almost all of the photos, they were washed, I thought, I'm just going to list them for really low, show the spot, and tell the the person, I'm giving you a great deal because of this stuff. Bought. Well, it sold in 11 days. I got an offer for $7. My earnings were $4.05. I got it at the bins for 78 cents. It only took 11 days to sell. And so I made a profit of $3.27. So that would not be a wise item to pick up knowing that it was only going to sell for seven dollars i would rather actually if i accidentally purchased it donate it because i would rather spend that time working on something that will profit twenty dollars or twenty five dollars but since i had completed 75 80 percent of the work already it was worth it to go ahead and list it so i'm glad i listed it and then the last one was a free people movement item that i wanted to put this in here because i had one a couple weeks ago also and this has probably been one of my slowest <laughs> liquidation moving items. I don't know why it won't sell. These are so cute. They just have not received any attention and I have a lot of them. And so at this point, I am just happy to make a few dollars on each of them. I actually sold one on Poshmark this week and one on Amazon this week. They are the Free People Movement Reflective Moonlight Shorts and they sold for $16. My earnings were $10.34. I paid $7.20 and my profit was only $3.14. But at this point, since there was so little activity, rather than hold on to all of those items and have my cost of goods just sitting there, I would rather get back that cost of goods plus a few more dollars and be able to reinvest that money into something else that might make 20 or 30 or $40. So at this point, I am okay with not making a huge profit. And I have to remember when you, I do purchase liquidation, there are those superstar items that are going to sell fast and I'm going to make a lot of money and I'm going to 
you sell it at five times my money and then there are some of them that are in the middle and then there are some that are slower but overall if i look at the whole picture i am doing great on the liquidation and making a lot of money on it for a little time investment so that is just part of it when you purchase things liquidation you don't get to pick and choose your items and it's okay if some of them don't make a huge profit <laughs> We will go ahead and insert Amazon really quickly because that is also the Moonlight Reflective shorts. And just to compare on how much they made on each of them, they sold for $20.44. My earnings were $11.19. I paid again $7.20. And my profit on that on Amazon was only $3.99. But I'm recouping that cost of goods and a couple extra dollars on each of them. So that's good. Then we will move on to eBay. And I was really happy with a lot of my sales on eBay this week. I sold 13 items for $397.51. And again, I ended almost everything and I'm getting things relisted and I am slowly getting them relisted, not as fast as I thought because it's during the summer. But as I'm relisting them, I am seeing activity pick up and things selling that had been sitting for a long time so i think it was a good idea so i sold 13 items for 397 dollars and 51 cents the first item was from my goodwill haul in plano texas and this was an item that my husband actually found they were the Colhan original grand wingtip oxfords size 10 and on those i was able to use google lens and i was able to find the exact name of them and that really helps on items if you can find the exact name because people a lot of times they will like a certain style and put that name in so if you have that name in it's very helpful also what i do i had a question on this this week about sell similar when i am talking about i click sell similar or create a draft on both Poshmark and eBay, there are these options where you find a sold item and it allows you to open up a draft based upon the listing that you were looking at. This is an example on eBay. Last night, I was listing a pair of little John Deere overalls. So I looked at the sold comps and found one that was just like mine. So I clicked on sell one like this then it opens up a new draft for me and it will have everything pre-filled in that was in their draft. So they have the title, item specifics, and I just need to go through and change anything that does not specifically apply to mine. On Poshmark, I was listing this dress this morning. So I found one that was just like mine that had sold. At the top, you'll see a green bar that allows you to list a similar item. If you click on that, it will open a draft for you and it will pre-fill information in that was just like the one that had sold. So say I found these Cole Haan original brand tip Oxfords and I found one that the listing looks great just like mine. Instead of me having to put in every single detail, I can click sell a similar item or sell one like this and it will take me to a draft with everything filled in other than the main description. You have to put that in there and then you need to go through and look at each field and make sure that it's correct. Maybe change the title, but there is so much information there that's just data entry that you can have filled in and save a little bit of time on that. So I use that almost every single time I list and so that is a good time saver. So on those, <laughs> they sell for $41.18. My earnings were $19.37. I paid just $3.50 on my Goodwill Plano, Texas haul, and they only took 12 days to sell, and my profit was $15.87. Then the next item was another pair of men's shoes, and these were from just my local Goodwill. They were the Timberland Men size 12 black leather Madison Summit shoes, and I even put the model number 29512 Oxford shoes. They sold for $38.50. My earnings were $19.79. I paid $5.35, and they took two months and two days to sell. My profit was $14.44. 
The next one was from my Goodwill haul where I found all those vintage Western suits and jackets and coats. And this one I had in a previous What Sold video back in March because it sold and then it was returned. But in that video, I said that it will sell again and that's okay, and it did. And it went international, thank goodness, because I know it's not going to be returned if it went international. But this was the Vintage Circle S USA Western Cowboy Suit. And whenever it's a suit, I will often also put in other keywords like jacket, laser, pants. That way, if someone is not necessarily looking for a suit and they just put in pants or jacket, they will probably see my listing also and maybe they'll be interested in that. So I put the individual items and that it was the suit. It sold for $57.80, went through the global shipping program. So super easy. I just sent it to Kentucky and they sent it on. And if you're not doing international shipping, I would encourage you every week. I have a couple sales international that really gives you an opportunity to sell your items to a wider market. So I do have a video. I will link it above if you're interested in watching exactly how to incorporate international shipping into your eBay selling. My earnings were $39.30. I paid $12.31. However, I lost money the first time around. The first time around, I lost $8.82. They had paid for the original shipping. So they did pay for the original shipping, which um, I actually made $1.49 on the original shipping, but then I had to pay for them to ship it back, which was $10.31. Profit on this would have been $26.99, but if I subtract the $8.82 that I lost on the original transaction, my profit was $18.17. So I still made money. <laughs> and I always have to remind myself, returns are low. My return rate is about 2.3%. So look at all these other sales that I have that go through, they're great, I receive positive feedback and the returns are just very small. So that's okay if that happens sometimes and just always ha handle them professionally and graciously. It works out just fine. The next one was also from my Goodwill Plano, Texas haul where I took my husband to Goodwill for the first time. And this was the pair of cycling shorts and they were, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, so I will definitely have a picture of them. Uh, it's like Castelli Cervelo, I know I'm butchering that, cycling shorts. And I figured out they were a women's and I just wasn't sure and I went back and forth, but then I measured them and for a size large, they would go from a 23 waist to a 30 waist when you stretch them. And so I thought that has to be a women's because a men's large would not be a 23 to 30 inch waist. So I listed them as women's. Then I also put though the waist size because sometimes people will buy them based on waist size, not necessarily gender since they don't look that gender specific. And then I also put padded bike shorts. And whenever I list cycling shorts, I'm sure to put both cycling and bike in there. That way if someone searches, I have both keywords in there. They sold for $37.85. My earnings were $26.69. I paid $3.50 and they only took 16 days to sell. My profit was $23.19. Then I thought I would mention while I'm on that, that I have noticed lately, this has not been there forever, but when you sell an item on eBay, you can get a lot of the fee information just right there from the transaction. Used to, I had to go to my invoice to look at everything, but it's so easy now. And I will put some screenshots to the side. If you click on the item that sold, so I'm just in my sold items, I click on the item. Then I click on see transaction details. Then it gives net orders and proceeds. And it will also show how much they paid, it will show how much money you're going to receive back, and it will even tell you when it's going to be deposited. And I know when everything changed going from not being PayPal to managed payments, I was worried it was going to take a really long time to get payments in, but it's not. I've been going through and looking at everything as it sells, looking at the transaction details, and it's usually just a couple days for items to 
process and be deposited into your bank. So I'm really pleased with that. I also like seeing the exact percentage. It will say, say what category it was in. It will give you the percentage of the fees, how much the fees were based on, or any extra fees or any promotions. When it's international, it will show you the international fees. So I really love getting to click on that area and find out more details about the fee. So if you're not doing that, you might check on there because it's interesting to find out that information. The next one was an item that I had purchased to sell on Amazon. I was actually in Walmart and I went to the clearance section and I was scanning items for Amazon. I found this Wonder Woman 1984 Cheetah figure battle ready, ready doll and it showed me that it was going to sell for a lot, like $40 or something like that. And I was like, oh yes. <laughs> and Amazon is really easy, quick to list. And so I bought like three of them and I got home and by the time I had gotten home, the price had dropped so low that I wouldn't make any money. I was like, this is crazy. I'd heard about people saying that with prices dropping. So I was like, well, thank goodness for eBay. I can list it on eBay. So I listed it on eBay and it sat and it sat and it sat and it sat. And so at this point I was like, I just wanna recoup my cost of goods and get these sold. And so I got an offer and I took it. It went through the international, eBay international program. So again, reminder to ship international. I only had 13 items sell this week on eBay and two of them were international. It sold for $31.24. My earnings were $11.34. I paid $10.90 at Walmart. So my profit was only 47 cents, but I got back that $10.90 cost of goods. And so sometimes that's important just to get your money back to put it into something new. Then the next thing was from my last Goodwill Vins haul. And this one surprised me. I didn't really think it would sell for much, but it sold fast in just five days. It was the Jillian and O'Malley sleepwear. And when I have sleepwear or comfy lounge pants, I put those kind of keywords like pants, lounge, joggers. Sometimes I'll put the word comfy and it had a drawstring waist and an elastic waist. So I put those keywords in the title also. And then normally if there's a drawstring and elastic in the waistband, I'll normally put a little line where I say, these pants have both a drawstring and elastic waist for a perfect fit to remind them, you know, that waist size can go from little to big. So I think those are key things that people look at and are interested in. They sold for $20.72. My earnings were $12.91. I only paid 68 cents at the Goodwill bins and my Goodwill bins is 99 cents a pound for clothing if you buy at least 25 pounds and they only took five days and my profit was $12.23. Then the next one was, these were in that same Goodwill bins haul just a week or two ago. And these were the Airy Patchwork pants and they were so cute. I wanted them to be my size so bad. And I put on there all the keywords that they had polar bears in them. So I put polar bears, polka dot, pajama, lounge pants again, and they sold for $15.96. My earnings were $8.03. I paid 70 cents at the bins and they only took three days to sell and my profit was $7.33. And if I click on this one also, I could see that it showed that I sold it on the 20th and the payment was available on the 21st. And whenever they send the payment, it always ends up in my bank account the very next day. So I'm, I'm really happy with how managed payments has gone. Then the last one that I'm going to share on eBay is the Michael Starr sleeveless top. And this was new with tags, size medium, 100% rayon. And this is a reminder to always search your sold comps and see what is current because Michael Stars used to just sell so fast for me and it would sell for a great amount. And so sometimes those things that once sold really well when I come across it, I will still just automatically think, oh, I wanna pick that up. And I did that with this one. And it sold for $19.81. My earnings were $12.88. I paid $4.99 for it, and it was at a discount store like a Ross or TJ Maxx or something like that. 
but it took about three years to sell because I just picked it up without researching comps and just assumed it would sell fast. And I guess Michael Stars has slowed down a little bit because I've had that happen with several items now, but I still made a profit of $7.89. So I am grateful for that. But now my total numbers, I sold 38 items for a gross amount of $997.92. The money that I got back after any fees and postage was $679.96. My cost of goods were $243.12 and my profit was $436.84. So I only profited 43.77% of my gross sales. So that's not very much. So hopefully next week it will be higher than that, but I'm still really happy with $436 profit because right now I am extremely part-time, maybe 10 to 15 hours a week that I am putting into reselling a lot more than that on YouTube, but on reselling, actual listing, shopping, all of everything that goes in to sell the items, I would say 10 to 15 hours right now. So I will go through each platform, but I won't read off every single number, but I will have it up on the site and you can always pause it, enlarge it if you want to look at it a little bit more closely. On Poshmark, I sold 24 items for a gross amount of $580. After fees, it was $451, and my profit on Poshmark was $281.68. On eBay, my 13 items was $397.51. My cost of goods was $66.06, .06, and my profit was $151.71. And then on Amazon, just one item for a profit of $3.99. So I am encouraged by this week that it did go up, and I can tell you next week is going to be good too because I'm listing and I've already had some great sales. So I can't wait to bring you next week's sales already. That is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you very much and all of the interaction. It is so wonderful to see all the comments and I feel like everybody's learning from each other. It's just wonderful how we are all able to share things and I think the more we help each other, the more each of us continues to grow and do better. So thank you to everybody so very much and I hope you all have a great week. Bye.